going to go straight to our regular feature, Your Story. And Your Story this week crosses borders into the Democratic Republic of Congo at the time of its 10th and worst outbreak of the Ebola virus. But the DRC is still teeming with life and Aileen Kahindo Mukandela is a survivor of Ebola and she now offers support to other patients admitted in the Mangina Ebola Treatment Center where she was treated. Well, this story, at least we lived, was suggested by Doctors Without Borders. Jinalangu Kahindo Mukandela Aileen. Nilipona na ugonjwa wa Ebola. This is your story. Since August 2018, Ebola has infected over 2,600 people and killed nearly 1,700. In July, 80 to 100 were diagnosed with the disease each week. The mortality rate, uh, like for this uh, outbreak, is uh, about uh, 67%. So it means if you have 100 cases, 67 would die. And um, what does it mean for a family? What does it mean for a village? It's, it means a lot. I, imagine you have one person sick in your house and then because it's your son, your daughter, and you have, or your wife, your husband, you have to touch. It means uh, in one family, you may lose, uh, of six people, you may lose three or four of them. But even in the time of Ebola, there are those who survive. Even in DRC, which is the affected country, there are still people living. There is still life. Alien Kahindo is living proof of how resilient the human spirit can be. She was treated here at the Ebola Treatment Center in Mangena. As an Ebola survivor herself, she now offers support to other patients admitted to the center. <laughs> Mukuje, mukuje muone kwenye nilikuwa na panga na kwenye niliponyeshewa mukuje tuwen. Iye ne ya apa njo kwenye wana kukotia kadamu wana ipeleka ku laboratoire inafaa saha moya, saha mbili apresa lama, majibu inakuya Kuna toka negatife na positife. Mie aline yangu litokaka positife wakanipandisha ukofirme. Nyinyi yote mkie munioni. Wamunganga wanavala hivi na mimi minavala hivi kwa sababu mimi nilipona. Siezi kuambukiza wala kuambukiziwa. Nao wanavala vile juu hao wanapasha ambukiziwa na ugonjwa. Hapa tunafika fasi ya kutosha mavazi kusudi tutoke inje tusibebe virisi vya Ebola kuipeleka nyumbani. Inaomba kujikinga kwa huo ugonjwa. On 17th July 2019, the World Health Organization announced that the outbreak constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. Even with the response to the outbreak, Ebola and the DRC is still not under control. But it is survivors like Aline who show that there can be an end to the outbreak and the suffering that people are going through. Dorka Swangira, Citizen TV, Your Story.